Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood. I'm here with Teresa Decker with her movie, Hello. Still Here. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip. Thanks for letting me come by. What are you doing? I made it weird, didn't I? Yeah, a little mm. bit. <laughs> a lot. I just, I don't know what to do with my body. Like, I want to give you a hug, but maybe that's the wrong thing to do. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't hug. I don't know. Hug is fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just a normal <laughs> hug. A normal friend hug. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, um... Thank you so much and congratulations on your film still here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We couldn't be here without you, so we really appreciate <laughs> you. Um, for those that haven't had seen your film, mm -hmm. tell us a brief synopsis. Um, still Here is about a couple that recently broke up and it explores the cycle of unstable relationships and what it's like to be not in a relationship, but not completely out of it as it's sort of deteriorating. I mean, already the synopsis, <laughs> I think every human on the planet Earth has been through that and has got empathy to that story, that storyline. You know what's so crazy is that before I wrote it, I was like, I'm the only one going through this. Like, right. I'm the only one that's so conflicted and, and don't know what to do in yeah. when, you know, when you're with someone that is still very important to you, but you know that it's not working mm -hmm. romantically. Yeah. And I wrote it and then... I, you know, sent it to um, my manager who ended up producing it, and, and she a great was, manager. Yeah, I know. No, she's <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, she's a badass, and she was like, I literally just went through this a year ago, and I started realizing that I was like, oh, this this happens a lot in relationships, yeah. and it's not just. I think when you're in it, you can. It's so easy to feel isolated and alone. Yeah, and so many people have gone through it. Yeah, no, I, I actually felt I, I was. I think from the audience perspective and mm -hmm. certainly from mine, I was like, thank you for making this. I felt like I was so <laughs> alone going through this. It's like, you know, you really were, but it's at the yeah. same time you, you shared with our audience that you were, you know, you were sharing a personal story, mm -hmm. but it's so great when you put your story and it's almost like, and for anyone that's a creative, no, it's any kind of, when you're releasing your art, it's therapy mm -hmm. for us, if anything, when you're a doing absolutely. that, right? Absolutely. I think, you know, when it's actually happening, it can feel so heavy and so kind of, like just cons all consuming mm -hmm. and I think that's what I love about this medium and this way of storytelling is that you're allowed to take your personal sort of heavy mm -hmm. stuff that can feel like a tragedy and turn it into something that's like relatable yeah. and and fun and sort of like a, a more light-hearted but um authentic take yeah on what it's like to be yeah there. I mean, you just you just did it for us. Oh, now, you. you know, obviously you're taking on, you know, multiple roles. Mm -hmm. You obviously wrote this piece uh, for us and then, um, well, for everybody. Um, and then you starred in it as mm -hmm. well. Um, now, I always, I'm always fascinated by that experience. What is it like, you know, being, you know, writing it, but then also actually acting out your words and, 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 and being in it, in yeah. your own story? I think, I mean, I started... When I was like 15 in Oregon, I was up there and I was just trying to act and I was like, there's not enough opportunities for me. Mm -hmm. And so I produced four short films when I was 16. Like, what? <laughs> what? I, I better get a move on, jeez. That's amazing. I mean, they were awful. No, oh, I'm sure. The, the first thing I ever wrote had like no plot. I was like, I don't really know I even know what, what a I'm short doing. film was at 16, but there you go. That's amazing. I mean, it was technically like a web pilot and I yeah. didn't even, it was like before like web series were like a thing. I was just like, I could make a TV for the web. <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. Um, but I started making stuff up there because I was like, well, I'm good at getting people organized. I'm good at meeting people and and sort of building a community around me and I used my community up there to make short films yeah. and when I moved to LA at 18 I was getting some opportunities but still not enough and so I continued writing and producing and I just kept you know hopefully getting better at what I was doing and so I think even though at first I was like oh this sucks that I'm not just like booking all these auditions I'm really grateful that I had that experience because it help me learn how to create stuff on my own and yeah. now that's what I love like I love bringing a project from like an idea all the way through post 
I think that's like what's exciting. I think you're amazing. I, I, I can't <laughs> well, quite comprehend you. that. I mean, it's because at the end of the day, I think, you know, yeah, of course, I think what's one of the things you discover when, you, mm -hmm. when you're here is, you know, but it is, is obviously it's a lot of, you, you wait for moments, but mm -hmm. you haven't waited, you're a go-getter, you've actually made things happen. And that's, that's incredible, and that's why you've achieved so much, you know, so mm. soon. Thank you um, so much. Which is, I mean, started at 16, made short, four short films. <laughs> what was I doing? I don't know what I was doing, probably eating toast. Um, but anyways, that, it's phenomenal. Um, but listen, I, I, I think that's wonderful. And, and, and the performance is in there as well. Like, I mean, you have to really, like, nurture that relationship that you've had together, and you have to really trust each other. How is that experience for you as an actress? I mean, I, it's... Amazing, and this one, I i mean, I didn't direct it, and so I had a director and that I really trusted, and I think that is sort of something where I, I prepare before, like mm. I do everything from like production design to like making call sheets, like, you know, yeah. when you're producing at an indie level, you're doing so many yeah. roles that like I have all that stuff prepared, and it's just then when I finally get in front of camera, I can just sort of throw it away and trust whoever is behind camera yeah. to just guide me. So that's a really interesting, I love this concept. So was it like writing something that mm -hmm. you've given to a director who's gonna direct you how to act? <laughs> it's it's an interesting experience. I The person that I ended up directing this, like we'd worked together a ton and so like we were always on the same page as far mm -hmm. as like what I wanted to get out of it in mm -hmm. the end. Um, and I think the only thing you can do is like when you've written those words is not get attached to them and just yeah. kind of like throw them away and, and then come at it from an actor's perspective of like, okay, well, this is, you know, the, the role that I'm experiencing mm -hmm. and, and just coming from like a place of, of authenticity of like yeah. being in that situation and not, you know, not worrying about the words at that point. Yeah, you just you're just in it, aren't you? Yeah. Um, was there any challenges, or was it just really just easy? Um, I mean, there's been so many challenges to get to this place of you know, like I, we started my comedy partner and I started in YouTube like four years ago and producing sketches, which is which really we learned how to become consistent of just making something for no money and we did yeah. that over and over again and so I think so many of those kinks have been worked out mm -hmm. by just doing it over and over again mm -hmm. um I'd say the biggest challenge for this one um I don't know it was honestly pretty smooth like I want to work on your set <laughs> Definitely, that's amazing. No, that I mean that. But again, when you've got a team that you trust, yeah. and you're working with people that you know, you know, you're on the same page. Yeah. Of, like you said, it, it makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? Totally. Yeah, you know? I think we'd really like smooth out the process by that mm. point. And there's always stuff that comes up, like some of the LED lights that we were using in certain takes were flickering, and mm -hmm. so like I kind of had to learn how to cut around that. And mm -hmm. I think one thing that I have learned is to write for what you actually have so that you're not trying to do something bigger than what you actually have access to. That's really good piece of advice, yeah. I mean, like at this point and at yeah. this level, it's like when you try to do something that's too big, it's gonna look like it's too big for what you have and yeah. you're not gonna be able to do it well. And so I think it's better to write something that feels like intimate and that you can actually mm. obtain. Yeah, no, it's definitely. And then I've also learned how to solve a lot of problems by editing around them. <laughs> and just being like, this is what I have, I gotta make it work. We love editors. <laughs> um, it was absolutely amazing to have you there last night and oh, have your you. film. What was your experience like at, at New Filmmakers LA, particularly a month celebrating uh, female filmmakers for Women's Independence Month? What was that experience like for you? Um, it's so amazing. I think it's such a good time to be a woman, an exciting time because, you know, now we're getting the opportunity to share more stories. And mm -hmm. I think what was so incredible about being at New Filmmakers is that everyone had a different voice and a different thing that felt so unique to them. And to see all of them up there, it's like there's so many different experiences that women have in this life. and it's amazing that we get to celebrate all of it. So it was very inspiring. And, it, and well, we couldn't do it without you, like we said, but I mean, it's we had also some amazing organizations, United Nations for yeah. Women, Women in Film, Women in Film, the Alliance Women Directors, mm -hmm. and then um, creating this launch, you know, 
time to step up. How mm -hmm. did you feel about that and sort of the fact that, you know, men support women entertainment and just us all kind of building together to create a better, a better uh, entertainment industry and make it fair for everybody? I mean, I love that. I think that I've been very lucky to work with men who really respect women and value their opinions. And I know that my experience is not the same for a lot of other women. Um, but I do think that there are a lot of good men out there who, you know, are interested in our stories. And I think it's just a very exciting time to all collaborate and celebrate, mm. you know, whatever we love about film and like why and why we're here. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. Um, what's next for you? Ah, um, well, I directed my first short. So I was for the first time actually in front of camera and behind camera. How was that? You know, it was a challenging experience because it was an interesting balance of wanting to be there with the other actor when it wasn't on me, but yeah. also having to watch them. And I think the one thing I did really well was I was again like super prepared as far as I knew exactly what I wanted to get. Yeah. So by the time that we were on set, I had the actors that I trusted. I had people behind camera that I trusted yeah. and I kind of just let everyone do their job and mm. it ended up being Good. Good? Yeah. But it was a very daunting and scary experience. I always thought you might get schizophrenia if you're sort of directing <laughs> yourself in front of camera, but you know, that's, a, I mean, I think, I think, I think one thing that's so great, and I think you've done this obviously from a young mm -hmm. age yourself, is that, you know, you challenge in yourself with new entities all the time. Yeah. And I think that's such an important thing as a filmmaker yeah. to just consistently say, I'm going to try this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make that happen. I think it's wonderful. I mean, I think um, if you're not scaring yourself, then you need to push yourself harder because you should always be trying new things that, you know, whether it's writing something that's more vulnerable mm -hmm. or doing something you haven't done before. Like, I think that really opens you up to new experiences and new ideas. I think that is the quote of the day. If you're not scaring yourself, <laughs> you should push yourself harder. I love that. I think that's absolutely very valuable advice. Um, Teresa, thank you so much. Thank you're a new you. filmmaker's alumni now, and welcome to the family. And <laughs> we can't wait to see much more of your work, so thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me. Teresa.